Behind this fence and inside these shipping containers, dark magic is taking place. Although it's more like green magic, this highly complex system of pipes, wires, tanks, converters and filters makes a zero emission fuel that many companies are banking on to power our future. Hydrogen. All that goes in is water and electricity. The water is purified and sent into an electrolyzer, where the electricity splits the hydrogen atoms from the oxygen ones. While the oxygen is vented out, the hydrogen is compressed and stored, ready to fill vehicles. I would say this network is a world leading network. Andy Clennett runs Heidinger Energy, which came up with this system. Each refueling station is a mini hydrogen factory, mere metres from the pump. But it's early days, there are only five hydrogen refueling stations in the country. We need at least 25 plus stations in the next few years. Numerous companies have them in the pipeline as part of the Hydrogen Council's plan to make it a serious fuel option for Kiwis. It's got a, a fundamental role um, in our um, uh, in energy, whole energy system as we go forward, both um, you know, um, reducing our reliance on fossil fuels but also taking advantage of our um, renewable potential. This is the nationwide refuelling network planned over the next few years. All the stations would be less than 400 kilometres apart. It aims to give people and businesses confidence to invest in hydrogen vehicles like this Hyundai Exient truck. This is really, uh, you know, like where we're going to be in the future, either hydrogen fuel cell or pure hydrogen combustion engines. Heavy vehicles contribute 25% of New Zealand's transport emissions and it's hoped hydrogen will help cut that. It's not just about the decarbonising the fuel, it's the opportunity it offers New Zealand to upscale and grow capability and export IP and skills and capability. One company doing this is Invercargill based company HW Richardson. They retrofit existing diesel trucks into hybrid hydrogen diesel ones, like this concrete truck, a world first. Now the beauty of this truck is it can be an existing asset, so you don't have the capital for a new truck. And if there's no hydrogen station nearby, it can run purely on diesel. There's also potential for buses too. This one is developed and made in New Zealand by GBV, which helped develop the foiling hydrogen-powered chase boats at the America's Cup. Light vehicles like the Toyota Mirai and the Hyundai Nexo are already in production as well. We're not by any means saying that we've got a silver bullet here. It's what it's going to need a whole toolkit. The most plentiful element on the planet, a key part to saving it.